Right, hello folks, it's Kevin again. I'm back out again in the lovely Finnish nature. Today I am in, again, Teo National Park, but I'm going to go do a round around a different lake this time, a lake called Matilden Järvi, or Matilda's Lake. Uh, the route is pretty short. It's a circular route, approximately five kilometers long. So I'm going to make a short trip this evening into a lean-to or lava shelter set up a tarp tent and then uh, continue on tomorrow morning and finish the rest of the loop but we'll see how far we get i got the tar tarp in the first place so that i could try and possibly cut down on some of the weight that i was carrying after i finished packing today i realized that my final weight was approximately 16 kil kilograms including water and food this means my carrying weight really hasn't changed at all and I had also planned to bring my bigger camera with me, but uh, yeah, I figured that I wasn't prepared to carry that much weight for five kilometers around a, a lake, which is uh, especially on paths like right now, which are quite icy. So um, I need to seriously reconsider all the gear that I have and or grow stronger. Here, you'll need this. <coughs> I cannot lift this. Grow stronger. I have come down to the lake and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's still very much frozen. So here you can see a really nice fire spot with wood laid on and uh, at the back wall have these quite nice wide wide benches you could actually get a mattress down there and sleep so and these really nice seats for sitting around the campfire and grilling sausages and uh, speaking of sausages I brought some with me today I hopefully will be able to light a fire in the next place that we go to and uh, yeah grill sausages the finish way okay a place to eat. I think if you were a bit clever with some ropes and stuff you could probably string up a hammock in here as well. So uh, yeah this is a, a very well appointed spot. So here's an interesting spot where there's some bedrock, granite bedrock right beside the trail and as the snows above have melted and dripped down they've turned into this large ice waterfall or ice sheet. Unfortunately, even though it looks very pretty, it goes right across the path. And uh, since I haven't got my ice bikes on, as soon as I step on that, I'm gonna drop down the dip and then into the lake. So I'm gonna have to go up and around it. I'm nearly at the place where I'm gonna set up for the night. I just thought I'd show this because it looks so cool. It's basically, duck boards that go over uh, the edge of the lake which is like a swamp and uh, it goes in three directions I haven't seen one like this before it's really cool you can see from the signs basically that gives you the name of the place distance to get there and then also what's available there so for example information accommodation these are lean-to shelters and this is some sort of tent that requires a key, so presumably you have to book it ahead of time. Okay, let's have a look at my tarp tent. So, as you can see, hopefully, it is a tetra shape. So it's a sort of very triangular looking and looks like a spaceship to me. But uh, let's do a quick walk around. As you can see, it's uh, keeping the water off quite nicely. There's a sort of a misty, misty rain coming in tonight which is uh, not really wetting, but if you're out in it long enough, it'll wet. I got this uh, ideas for making designs for tarps from a YouTube channel from a Dutch guy called Papa Hiker. I'll put the, uh, the, the link to his channel in the description. And so I got some ideas from him about different types of tarps. Uh, because it's the time of year and because I live in Finland, um, my thought was that I needed to have an enclosed tarp. This particular design is quite versatile. You usually tie it to a tree, but instead I've actually used a, 
a bridge line. It's a good excuse to start learning how to use Prusik nuts, which I can use then to keep the tarp taut. So I've rolled back the front cover, front flap. One I can open and close and use that as a door. The other one basically stays fixed with a peg. Yeah, this is my setup. I bought some Tyvek as a ground sheet because it's supposed to be really light. I guess plastic would have done just as well. One extra piece of kit that I've actually got specifically for this uh, tarp camping is the uh, is a bivy bag. It's the, also a rub. There's the uh, if you can see it there. It's a rab ultralight. I uh, can't remember what exactly it's called. Ultra ultralight survivor or something like that. And it's made of Pertex, so it's supposed to be supposedly breathable. But we'll see. Uh, let's see tonight how much condensation there is. As I said, it's kind of misty outside, and I'm also on damp forest ground, so uh, I could envisage that there will be quite a lot of quite a lot of condensation. So tonight it is going to be Finnish Makara, and these are a very well-known brand called Kabanossi. They are made of 75% meat and they're also lactose free and gluten free. The mustard you tend to get in Finland tends to be more like, a bit like Dijon mustard, it's a lot milder. And <clears throat> there tends to be uh, two main types. One is Mieto, which is mild, mild flavored. And there's one of the one called Vakeva, which is a bit, bit, bit stronger flavor. My sausage, although <laughs> it's a little bit ashy, is ready. I put plenty of mustard on it. Wrap it in a in a bit of tissue paper. And here goes. Hmm. That's what I call a sausage. Right. I have a new tactic for my stick. I basically took one of the Y pieces off and now I've got a single one so that my sausage isn't going anywhere. Let's see how it goes. And it's a delicacy for Finns, especially when they're out in the wild. Anywhere there where there's a campfire, you usually find a Finn with a sausage stuck on the end of a stick. Mm. So, I'm all tucked up in my bed. Let's see how warm I stay tonight. And I'm hoping I won't be too drafty. See you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. Yeah, first night under the tarp. I was nice and warm. The bivy bag only made my sleeping bag ever so slightly damp on the surface, but not enough to cool me down. I am loving the space in the in the tarp tent. Now I'm going to get some hot water boil and get some get some coffee on. Cheers. So this is the opening of the Tetra wedge tarp. As you can see, it has loads of space in the opening. So uh, you can easily sit here in shelter in the front and cook. Just to show you the amount of space, 
I can uh, I can almost stand up inside in the start of the vestibule. Uh, I'm very pleased with this this particular design, and I think I'll be using it again. So it's time to go, and uh, there is no rubbish or trace that I was here. So thank you, Rosie and Yemi, for a very interesting night. Okay, right, let's go. So I decided to cut the trip short and just head back the way that I came, back to the car. The trail is very icy and without spikes, I'd have to go really slowly. And uh, the last thing I want is to slip and fall and be any great distance from the car, especially when I'm carrying weight. I'm actually pretty pleased with how things went. I got to test the tarp, which worked extremely well. And uh, my sleeping bag worked this time. I was actually warm all night. I guess I'll finish from here and uh, say thanks for joining me on this adventure and hope to see you on the next trail. All the best. Bye-bye.